Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Best of PowerPoint. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to create this kind of 3D cartoonish pop-out avatar of your image in PowerPoint 2019. Now you don't need any professional and expensive image processing software like Adobe Photoshop. This advanced image effect can be created in PowerPoint itself. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into the tutorial. First of all, you will need an image of yours, probably with a plain single colored background, because the background removal process becomes easy with that. Insert the image, go to the Format tab, and hit the Remove Background button. I have already made a separate video in which I have discussed the Remove Background feature of PowerPoint in detail and you can watch the same from the description box below. And here I will select the areas to keep and the areas to remove, giving it a clean look. So here we are. Next, I'll insert a circle hollow shape in my slide. We need to edit this shape a little bit. Right click the shape, open the format shape dialog box, open the 3D rotation option and adjust the Y and the Z axis like this. Now guys here you need to take care while placing the shape over the image. The shape should be placed such that it covers a part of your head so that it would give a pop out kind of effect when we, when we will edit this. This would completely depend on the type of the image you would be using but in my case I'll be placing the shape right over the head part but in your case you may put this shape on any other part it may be your hands it may be you know your shoulders any part that suits the image at that time. Next I will be creating that pop out effect. For this Copy paste the image and overlap the two images completely. And now I will crop the half part of the image which is to remain behind the circle, that is from bottom. With this it gives a 3D kind of look. But the hands are looking somewhat odd here. Don't worry, I will rectify that but first let me just open the selection pane and rename all the elements which I have used in the slide, particularly the front image and the back image, so that it becomes easier to select the elements. Now go to the insert tab, insert a circle in the slide to cover the extra parts of the hands. I have chosen the circle image because it becomes easier to match the curves of the circle hollow. Change the fill color to white and the border color to none. From the selection pane, reposition these oval shapes so as to send them to the back of the circle hollow. Now it looks clean enough. Select the circle hollow and change its fill color. Select the border color as black and increase the weight of the border to about uh, 6 points. This will add some depth to our effect. Now 
The final step is to add a large rectangle in the slide. Change its fill color to white and reposition it to the back of every element in the slide. This will act as a canvas. Now select all the elements of the slide by pressing Ctrl plus A, right click and select group. With this, all the elements have been grouped together and to begin with the next step, we need to save it as a separate image file. So right click, save as picture, select the JPEG format and the image gets saved on your system. Now open a new powerpoint slide and bring this newly saved picture in the slide. Again remove the background of the image, that is the unnecessary white parts of the image so that when I change the background of my slide from white to any other color, the image looks more real. And now the final step is to convert this picture into a cartoonish kind of effect. For this, select the image, go to the format tab, hit the artistic effects column and choose the cutout effect right here. Right click the picture and open format picture dialog box from the artistic effects column increase the transparency to about 50 or maybe even 60 percent whatever you like as per your image and our image is finally ready you can again save it as a picture on your system but do remember to save it in a png format this time in order to retain its uh, you know background transparency properties so this was how you can create a beautiful 3D pop-out avatar for yourself or your company profile and amaze your audiences. So that's it guys. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please like and share the video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.